a, another presentation this year that affects a very common uh, scenario for oncologists is the ductal carcinoma in situ patient. So the Oncotype DX assay has long been used to help us understand which patients would benefit from the addition of chemotherapy as part of their adjuvant regimen. Uh, a, a excellent work looking at biopsies of patients that had ductal carcinoma in situ and being able to determine which of those patients had the high grade type of DCIS that in fact might need more therapy, might be the type to benefit from additional radiation therapy, might be the type of patient that actually benefits from prolonged hormonal therapy or decreasing the odds of, of having a cancer in the other breast with the use of some type of hormonal treatment. And they developed uh, and validated a scoring system that's not identical to the recurrent score we use for invasive breast cancer, but was able to uh, define patients who are more likely to develop uh, a breast cancer event, either invasive or other, based on that score, low, intermediate, or high. And again, that may influence the use of additional therapies based on where the recurrent score falls. So it, it was an important look, again, at how biology may drive the behavior of even not only invasive disease but non-invasive disease and I think again it really represents where we're trying to go with all of these strategies using tailored approaches to individual patients. I think it may indeed represent something that more likely than not uh, surgeons and radiation, radiation oncologists are going to be looking to to help guide their decision making. Uh, so I think we'll have to see what the data looks like when it's published but it was a validated. It was validated based on um, an ECOG study, and then they looked at additional uh, data sets. And it seems to be a consistent finding across data sets that they can categorize DCIS based on uh, gene expression. So, if that is indeed the case, it may allow us to, uh, in a sense, pigeonhole certain. Uh, tumors as very, very low risk for ever having a problem in the future and others that have higher risk, which in turn may lead to decisions about radiation therapy or not. DCIS is a very common uh, finding in women, uh, a hallmark for the development of invasive cancer in certain patients later on. And so this very important finding, I think, will help us decide which patients to treat. And on the other side of the coin, also tell us which patients we don't need to treat. And so actually saving toxicity and cost for that group of patients.